take a little break from the uh, said tutorial and just do something interesting that I um, wanted to do today. It doesn't seem like there's much demand for the said tutorial right now anyway, so that's okay. Um, I was watching a video by uh, CLI Magic. He's on Twitter and on he's got a YouTube channel, but he hasn't been very active on YouTube. But <clears throat> in one of his older videos, he had this idea to uh, grab a random fact about the day's date from Wikipedia. You know, if you go to a, if you go to Wikipedia, oops, and go to uh, a date, then it will list some random events for that date, such as in 1527, Spanish and German troops sack Rome. And so the idea was, let's get a random, let's get one of these uh, little facts and, uh, you know, pick a random one and display it on the terminal. It's just uh, about, about today. So I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. And I'm, I'm just going to kind of do a variation on a theme there. And let's have it. Um, display a random fact every time we open a new terminal so which is really not that much different but instead of e-links I'm going to be using w3m and we'll kind of work with sad a little bit and apply some of the things we've learned and just uh, have fun so to get that format of the date we can use this format um, and if we want to grab it, we can just well, we can just type in what we did before, or we can just go up and put that format right in here, like that. Um, instead of opening up W3M, we can just kind of dump the output and pipe it to less. And we want to get everything in between events and births. That's down here. So I'm just going to use said to do that. I'm going to say dash n. And I'm going to say only print between the line with events and the line with births. And so we got that. And then I'm going to say only print, um, or let's do dash n, and then I'm going to switch any line that starts with any character going up to this little random character, this bullet sign. Let's just copy that and paste it in, followed by a space. Let's switch that out with nothing and only print those lines. So now we get a list of random, well not random, but we get a list of the lines with everything else chopped off. You can see though that the fact gets chopped off and that's because of the line wrap and we're only going by lines. So it'd be great if we could get this to join all of the lines together so we just get one long unified line. We could probably do that with um, said but w3m actually has an option called columns or calls and if we just specify that to a ridiculous length then um, the lines will be very long and they'll just basically they won't wrap so we can just add that to the command we already have and then we get the full fact um, so if we want a random one of those facts, we can. There's this command called the called shuff or shuffle, 
and you can use the dash in to specify how many lines you want it to output of the shuffle. So we can just say shuffle and only put out one line and that'll give us one random fact. So there we go. Um, I popped into my editor a second ago. Your, your editor environment variable, I think if I echo out editor, mine is vim, or you can export it you know, like this. Um, if you have that set, then when you have, um, well, you don't need to have anything in your command line, but if you do, and then you hit Control X E in Bash, then it'll open up that line in your editor. And once you're done editing that command, it'll just go ahead and execute it. So I find that really helpful for editing more complex commands. So I'm just going to use that to jump in here and yank this and then pop right into my bash rc file and then I can just paste this right into my bash rc. So now if I open up a new terminal every time I do I get a factoid as you can see. Um, but let's say let's say I don't want to be I don't want to have to be connected to the internet to be able to do this like right now every time I open up a new terminal it's fetching a web page and maybe I don't want that overhead so we want a way to do this even when we're not connected to the internet so let's go back to what we had and let's set this coloring and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna download the events for every day of the year and store them somewhere so we'll just do a for loop and we'll say for day in 1 through 365 do we can indent that out and let's say if it doesn't already exist then make a uh, wiki dates folder in our home directory and if it errors then we don't really care so we'll just pipe that to dev null and then we will use our command here let's instead of using the date as we were before let's uh let's just delete this and paste it here and then uh, at the end of this we can just say date instead of what we did before and here we can use dates dash d flag and say get the date for now plus day days because day is the number we're getting from 1 through 365 here so this is going to get the current day plus for example 365 days from now days and then format it in that format that we want for these for the uh, web page and then we'll do the same kind of said stuff on it and then we don't need the shuffle because we're just going to download the data um, but we do need to output it to a file and we'll just put that in the wikidates folder and name the file that that date and let's just give that a try so now it looks like it's going it's going to download all of the data alright I'll just cut that out because it did take a little bit of time but now if we go into this wiki dates we can see that all of the dates are there right off the bat it occurs to me that we didn't get February the 29th so we may want to just grab that one ourselves um, let's just edit this and we'll just delete all that and we'll just say February 29 and put it out to wiki dates February 29 
no we got that date as well just for completeness sake and then we can take a look just to make sure these all have some data in them it looks like they do not seeing any that look completely wrong we can kind of survey them um, we can just use the vim star command okay we're well, we getting this one events two births thing looks like we're getting that at the top of most of our um, files Hmm. Let's try this. Okay. Looks like that got rid of that. I'm not seeing too many errors, so now we got all our dates here. Now if we open up our bash RC, then instead of doing this, we can just cat out wiki dates and then put in right here today's date like that. And then we will shuffle at the end to select a random one. Um, we don't need this anymore since that's already done for us so if I delete that then I should get a random fact about today's date without having to be connected to the internet so that's uh, that's pretty much it this is a kind of an expose of things you can do with the bash command line so I hope you enjoyed that and I will be making more videos soon hopefully y'all have a great week bye